I actually grew up in a suburb outside of Chicago, uh, Gurney, Illinois, and then I moved up to Holman, Wisconsin, beginning my freshman year of high school. The closest person in my family that was related to agriculture was my grandfather, and he went out of agriculture as a young man. Um, so I really just had an interest in animals, horses to begin with, and when I moved up to Holman, being a rural area, I got a job at a dairy farm and it kind of took off from there. My boss in high school, who was a farmer and he was just a really good role model, taught me, was never afraid to teach me things or any sort of stigma because I was a city kid, so that was, he was a big influence. I think it's surprising at first to people when they realize that I farm. I'm not necessarily sure what they expect. Um, when they talk to a farmer, what they expect to see. But I think the biggest challenge is they don't always expect that a woman is capable of the technical aspect of farming or agriculture because even in the dairy lab and the dairy business, um, a lot of the processors and batchers tend to be men. And so I think that technical aspect is a little harder to overcome that way. Never let anybody tell you you can't do something. If you truly think you can't do something because it's possibly beyond your means, that's okay. But don't ever let anybody tell you that. Never underestimate what you can do. You know, my parents were always real supportive of further education, real supportive of pretty much anything I wanted to do. They never said, you know, no, don't do that. They were always pretty supportive and drug us around all the horse shows and dog shows. And still to this day so yeah today in this environment there is all kinds of opportunities for women um, and I would encourage any young woman to follow whatever their whatever their best interest in you know if you can make a living doing what you love you will love what you're doing and I think young women you go out you do one of two things either um, you go out to impress everybody which does nothing but turn people off or you go out and you don't say anything so again people don't you know, the men especially don't respect you or don't understand that you have knowledge. Keep an open mind, be willing to um, understand that you're not always going to be accepted at face value and not to be upset about that. Be willing to say what you don't know and be willing to find the answers for the things that you don't know. Ultimately, what the product we produce is going to end up on a table somewhere and somebody's going to consume it and they're going to want to know where it came from. And there's a certain section of uh, of the consumer out there that's growing exponentially every day that wants to know that the animals are raised in, in what they perceive to be a humane manner. And the students that come into the program and have an open mind about um, what's going to happen and, and say, you know, don't blow it off. You know, we have to address these things as agriculturalists, especially in animal science. 